Hello, Hi Flyers. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. This is Ridgeway Academy School, Enugu. Welcome to class today. Hi, it's Temi, Lola, Ihoma, Pascal, Ifai O, and Ifai A. I hope you're all doing great today. We we'll have something very interesting today on national values, and the topic is community leaders and their qualities. Who is a leader? A leader is a person who makes decisions and guides a group of people to achieve a goal. Every group has a goal. Every group has something that they want to achieve. So it's a leader that will guide them so that they will achieve that goal. That brings us to our topic, community leaders. Who is a community leader? A community leader is a person who makes decisions and guides a group of community or society towards achieving a common goal. Remember, a leader achieves a group, be it a community or a society or a group of people to achieve a common goal. There is something that group or society or community wants to achieve. It's a leader that will help them achieve their goal. Now, we have different tribes in Nigeria. We have the Igbo tribe. We have the also tribe we also have the yoruba tribe and so many tribes but we're going to be looking at a few tribes and what they call their community leaders look at the Igbo community or Igbo tribe they call their leaders eze igwe or obi the also tribe call their community leader amen the Yoruba tribe called their community leader Oba. The Ethic called their community leader Obon. Before you become a community leader or a leader, there are some qualities you need to have, you need to possess for you to be able to achieve the goals of your community. Now, let's look at the qualities of a community leader. One, caring and passionate. You have to be a caring leader so that you, the people you are leading, they will love you. Don't be wicked to them, okay? Number two, patient. A leader should be patient. That is a very good quality. If you're not patient with people, you cannot rule them. If you're not patient with people, you cannot achieve anything in that community. So be patient. When things are going fine, be patient. Okay? Be patient with them so that you can achieve the best out of that group or community that you are leading. Number three, honest. A leader must be honest. If you're a liar, you're not truthful, your community, the people you are ruling, the people you are leading, they will not trust you. They will not be open to you. Okay? Try to be honest in whatever you're doing with them so that you achieve the best from that community or group number four problem solver a community leader must have answers to every problem whenever your your followers your subordinates come to you for help provide solution to them tell them something be a problem solver. Don't just push them away. I can't solve this thing. I can't do anything. Think of something to tell them so that they'll be happy. Okay? Number five. Innovative. I love this one. A community leader or a leader should have ideas. Should be creative. Should have good ideas that will help push the, form the community forward that will help bring out the best in that community. When you have good ideas, when you're creative, your community will move forward, okay? And you'll be able to achieve the goals of the community. Number six, courageous. A community leader should stand tall. Should not be a weakling. Should not be tossed around like the wind. Should stand tall and firm to achieve a common goal. To be able to rule and direct the community or the society number seven inspirational a community leader should be someone when he talks when he speaks 
or when he or she speaks, he should be able to inspire people. Don't just talk and go. When you talk, make sure that you make a positive impact in your people, the people you're leading. So that whenever they see you, wherever they hear about you, like, wow, I was really touched. I was really, I was really inspired by my community leader. Be an inspirational leader, okay? I hope with this quality, someday, one day, my high flyers, they'll be, the, they'll be leaders of this country, they'll be leaders of different communities, even for my class. I, hoped, I hope that a governor will come out for my class. One day, if I very soon, in the near future, the president will come out from the high flyers class. Yes, I believe that. Now, let's look at different community leaders, how they look, their attire, and all that. Look at this picture. This is an Igbo leader called Easy. From the dressing, you see that the crown, the beads, the dressing. See so that this is an Igbo community, a typical Igbo leader called Eze. Look at this one. is an Alsa leader called Amir. They turban, they tie turban around their face and their head. They, you, you, you don't see their neck. You can only see their eyes and their nose. They cover their ears. You can only, they can only see with their eyes. That's a typical Alsa leader called Amir. See how they dress. Then this is a Yoruba leader. From the dress, I think these are Ashoke dressing, the crown, from the dress, and this is a typical Yoruba leader called Oba Temlola. I hope I'm right here. This is um, Obong, an ethic leader. Obong is um, in Cross River State and so on. High Flyers, this brings us to the end of today's topic, coming to leaders and their qualities. I hope one day very soon the governor of, of illness of the state or the president of the country will come out from my class high flyers class remember miss inquiry loves you keep staying safe and be good to your parents bye high flyers i love you